Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mokulover. And right now, we're looking at good old James Burnham. But we're doing a vertical integration. I've done a couple of focuses off screen, I think, if I remember correctly. I might be incorrect, but vertical integration? Gone to the ways of capitalist shops and union rabble rousing. We now have more efficient means of organizing our industries. Our industries will be organized into more easily overseen economics of scale, nicknamed industrial functions. These will build every part of whatever they're specialized in while absorbing small and medium-sized industries. You could probably go ahead and do the Continental Social Society. Entrusted with enough power to act as a nimble but effective force, the Continental Social Society are currently a small fraternal society, made up of largely of those who have served in the American Workers' Party militia. With government backing, they will serve both as bodyguards and a counter-espionage force against the forces of reaction. For the sake of secrecy, the only answer they only answer to President Burnham. As you can see on screen, uh, France, the common France, has capitulated, replaced with the French government, and Russians have done very, very well. We've got a long way to go. I'm also, I've gone to war with everyone in North Africa, pretty much. Um, oh, I forgot about this too, huh? Well, oh, well. Let's see. Also, I guess I did lose a lot, I lost a lot of divisions um, doing this, so it is what it is, you know. But, uh, yeah, I lost a couple of divisions. Uh, shouldn't have used my tanks, or I did, so we lost a lot of guys. It's all right, though. You know, we're, we're the CSA. Sure, we need more manpower, but... We're only on volunteer only. Thank you. Cool. And I didn't want... I, I just wanted a land route to actually get to the Entente. So... Oh. Oh, there's some extreme lag. Oh, hello. What's going on? Ah, yes. Ah. Our carrier's doing so great. I love our carriers. But the Third International still exists, so... We'll see what happens. Um, Buccaneers, we got some comments to go through as well. It is 44 already, so... I'm moving... As you can see, we're moving pretty quickly in this campaign, so... Fate of Cyprus. I did take Cyprus when uh, Turkey fell. I did, I did go to war with the Constantinople government, I think it was called. For some, it was very weird it's called that, but whatever. Now there's Turkey now. Lost two carrier fighters. Oh, we saw 13. Wow. That's pretty good. Not bad, not bad. And five. And then, yeah, five more. Not bad. Pretty good. A lot of convoys. And nope. Thank you. Now I'll close that out. Fate of Cyprus. Rebuilding other states. That'd be nice. Ooh, we lost a plane. That's fine. And they lost more ships. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I just gonna take some time to get through all this stuff, which is fine. You know it is what it is. Uh, how are you guys doing? A while disappears. Nice. Get down there, guys, as fast as you possibly can. Let's see. Uh, someone says I sh or suggested that I should do uh, T. E. Lawrence and Kaiser Redux. While I could do, well, look at, ooh, yes, I like this. Um, I could do Totalist Mosley and Kaiser Reich. So that actually sounds like a lot of fun. We should probably do that sometime. Uh, at the time of this recording, I'm planning on doing like a lot of like left-leaning nations. A lot of I do want to go back to doing a lot of totalist Russia. Um, obviously, we're playing as a t well, maybe not totalist now. Are we totalist? I guess we are totalist, huh? Totalist America right now. Totalist UK. I almost never played the UK in any campaigns. Lots of few more plans. That's fine. We should have enough in reserve, right? We need more light tanks, of course, but still. Cool. Not bad. Not too shabby. Actually, what are our spies doing? Dr. Phil, would you have to come to Syria? Or we'll, we'll put Lucien Ball there. You can come to Egypt. Hey, Josephine Baker. Um, well, miles ahead on all around here. Very cool. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. And someone also asked, do I have a backup channel? What if things go south? Because sometimes I like having, you would say, maybe edgy or uh, potentially controversial titles in my for my for my videos and or thumbnails. Usually it's the, the title, but not always. Um, I don't have a backup channel. I tried to use one of Bitchute, but ever since Bitchute, I don't know, Bitchute is... It's okay. It hasn't really progressed ever since it really began too much. A little disappointed in that, so I stopped uploading that. We'll see. There's other channels out there too, or, you know, places where you can host videos, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll definitely see. But if this channel gets taken down, what am I going to do? I'll probably either make a second backup channel or just give up. I don't know. We'll see. I really have no idea. I spent so much time on this channel for the past three to four years already. At this point, I just can't see myself stopping. Like, it, doing this channel, just it's just a part of me at this point. <laughs> for better or for worse. So, actually, let's come over here. Fighters. Cool. Yeah, make sure that the fighters actually are doing what they needed to do. Oh, my goodness. Uh, what's, who's over here? What's their support fighters? There you go. Just to give our carriers some coverage. Oh, we're not at war with these guys? Oh, that sucks. Oh, I don't have to manually have to justify... Oh my goodness. Oh, are we just fighting somebody else already? Oh, the Mexican states. That's right. We do want to go to Mexico. That's fine. Um, if that's the case, they're probably going to naval invade us, to be honest with you guys. 
I don't think we can move over there and get our navy over there fast enough. Kenya. How many divisions does Kenya have? Let's have them go on anyways. Uh, up to 44. Yeah, we can send our guys down south first. That's fine. Actually, I'll send you guys back up here. You guys spent all this time going down here, but whatever. Um, just send over here. At least we have the Suez Canal, actually. That's pretty nice. That's pretty good. A lot of things over here. Not bad. And fate of Egypt. Nope. Straight up full military occupation. Out of this one, we will do Burnham's uh, Red Scare. Ooh, yes. The king and his loyalists have made their intentions toward us quite clear. If Only if we reach out to every citizen and alert them of the imperialists who could be under their beds, we can hope to overcome foreign sabotage. Very nice. We sunk four destroyers. Very good. Oh, because we could always naval invade too, so that's always possible as well. But since we're here, we're going to improve our roads. The roads are super, super important. I don't know why the AI never likes building roads. Then again, I mean, whenever the next DLC comes out for Hoi 4, what's it called? No Setback? I'd love to see what the supply situation is going to be like with logistical hubs, train stations, and stuff like that. Sounds like a lot of fun. Record the... Re blah, 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 blah. Reward the craft unions. Blackmail material. Oh, look at that. The craft unions provided much of the support for victory. However, many are still on the fence between continuing to support us or one of the vanguardist leaders. Perhaps handing out some military contracts to our supporters will remind them of whose side they're on and what comes to those who stand with the state. The CSS Youth Wing. Lawrence Dennis proposed a new government program in which members of the Young American Workers' Party who are eligible may be chosen as candidates for the Continental Socialist Youth po Society, in which there is an apprenticeship to become a full-fledged member of the CSS and further activism among students. Wonderful. Blackmail material. While investigating political opponents, the Continental Socialist Party, or Society, has discovered a number of union leaders guilty of craft or graft and working with local criminal groups for either personal gain or aid the revolution during desperate times. We can either take them to trial now or give them a chance to change their ways and also the their opinion on the president. Now this one's just regarding, uh, cool, yeah. Playing this, choose this. So now this really matters then. Um, okay, cool. Now I close out of that. Thank you. Send threats. Arrest them already. I don't want to lose any more stability. I'll be honest. Just because we're gonna lose a lot of stability by annexing everything here. So yeah, it's best not to do that. Finish off the Kenyans. That'll be fine. And let's get ready to go down to Mexico way. We love Mexico here. Love, love, love Mexico. Bing, bong, boom. Cameroon is gone? Good. Get rid of Cameroon. Mm, there you go. Any more actual, like, fighters? Oh my goodness, there's a lot of naval bombers. We'll do that in just a little bit. Oh, yes. Get just one thing of fighters going. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And one, two, three. Well, we'll get some more fighters later on. It's fine. Uh, Jeff fighters, good, good, good. I don't care if it's ahead of time. It doesn't matter to me at this point anymore. You guys, that's not enough. Naval bombers, thank you. Because we're going to need quite a few guys for this. Thank you, thank you. Go in there. You guys, are what? Central Mediterranean, that's nice. Uh, bomber groups. Tactical bombers we're using. Which I don't remember using those guys, but whatever. Uh, just in case, let's build some dockyards around here. Because we ha do have our guys. Oh, boy. Now we got max out on fuel, so I'm not really worried about fuel stuff, so. Bing, bong. Iraq is joined as their enemy. Zambia, alright, well, whatever. What are the divisions from Kenya? Are they okay? They seem to be. Oh, there's quite a few militia divisions, look at that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let them go on. Integrated convoy defense. Very good, we're done with our naval doctrine. Great. Get some more fuel because we can, because. Why not? Syria. Please, Syria. Do something here, please. Mohammed Abdel the Fest. Alright, cool. And then the Technocratic Committee. AWP supporters Howard Scott and his technocrats have promised to maximize efficiency if they allow to coordinate our largest industries via industrial board. Their scientific management of our nationalized industry shall greatly aid us in the coming conflicts. Very cool. Very cool. And I like getting radar. Radar just gives you so much encryption and decryption, stuff like that. I love it. Alright, finish these guys off if we possibly can. That'd be nice, 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 nice. And do we actually have logistics on our guys here? We should. Yeah, we do. That's good. That's very good, actually. And enough PP for now. Nope. Propaganda efforts. We could do that, but we would have 100%. You have to declare more Muscat. Yes! Let them all kill each other off. For the love of God, please kill each other off as much as possible. Do we have any other navies yet? No, but we do have four... Ooh, yes. Very good. Add on it. A fifth task force. Now, while not very large, will be very beneficial to us. We will try naval invasion, but 
<clears throat> we'll see how it goes. <sighs> so, yeah, I lose division sometimes. Sometimes. Not all the time. Very good, very good, very good. Burnham's Red Scare. We love it. Technocratic USA. Or committee. Um, no, we're kind of okay for now. After this one, Power Projection. Ah, that's okay. Squeeze. Oh, I love squeezing the bourgeoisie. According to the committee, former members of the bourgeoisie and the petite bourgeoisie have a large amount of experience in management, making them potentially useful assistants and advisors to managers. However, it is no vacation as a reward is the mercy of the new state, and their existing assets will be liquidated. Very good. And we're mobilizing. No, we're not mobilizing anymore. Uh, you must go to extensive like description. We have the PP for it for now. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good, actually. Um, we'd probably need more planes here, honestly. Uh, get some fighters over here. I know. Get some naval bombers first. Screw that. Naval bombies? Yes, please. Awesome, awesome. Fighters. There you go. Nice. And let's get ready to go to war with Syria. I just want to land route so they can just bomb their heads into us. Alright, let's go in. Hopefully they don't join Third International now, but... Oh, oh, hold on. How many divisions do you guys have? That's less than 100,000 manpower. Eh, up to 51, that's not bad. We'll see what happens. You know, we can do this anyways, but let's save our PP for now. We might need it later on. We're on a uh, limited expert suit. Technocratic claims. The technocrats in a party are pushing for us to make a claim on what they call needed land that we should control directly by the end of the conflict. Make claims on... Can Wait. Lower... Hmm. Lower California. Wait, make claims on Canada. Then why is there claims on Sonora and Cal Lower California? Make claims on Mexico? I mean, I wouldn't do that one, but... We don't get anything for this one, so... Okay. Uh, Root of capital spies. That the Entente Royals desire the downfall of our republic is undeniable, and all around us their spies will eat to strike. The situation has grown tense as labor representatives are nervous of them, of they themselves being accused of being accused of being capitalist sympathizers if they pose their security measures. As both the Congress and public fill with fear that their very neighbors could be the Entente agents, they look to us for protection. Make public accusations against low profile representatives in our way. I like the worst part, but going after anyone we can justify. Less social democracy. I don't want to lose any stability. Re detain a controversial view. I mean, we have more than enough war support already, so. Because this one, you have to do the focus first, and then you have to figure out what you want to do about it, right? People saying, and wait here, yeah. Do not. So just, it's, just, it's just a waiting game. Uh, I'm betting is going to be a pain in the butt. But it doesn't look too bad. That's why Raider's super helpful sometimes. Oh, we're doing great, doing great. We got Nairobi next. Thank you very much, Cannon. You got anything good for us? Yeah, sort of, yeah. Why not? We'll take that one. Sub ops? Nice. We have no subs, but hey, we'll take it. Venezuelan operative. That one? That's fine, actually, for us. Central America has been called in. Oh, I should probably pay attention to the war down here. Um, But I'm not really, as you can see, too worried about it. Supplies do suck. Which sucks, but whatever. There you go. And we did make sure Texas has a massive radar station. Oh, the divisions are coming back, which is good to see. At least for Mexico. Not good for us, but whatever. Uh, how's the air battle? Should be completely green. Alright. And we got modern tanks. Awesome. So these medium tanks, I think, are at the bottom. Welcome to Moderns. We want that. That lowers our reliability. Um, speed goes down to everything is still positive. Still positive. Reliability four fifty. Pretty nice. Of course, we don't have enough factories for that yet, but we'll get there. We'll definitely get there. Hello. Um, it's weird. Reliability was down here for the tanks, but not down here. Um. I guess something like that, I guess. Carrier naval bomber. Nice. Boom, boom. Got some of those. We're getting still just a ton of that stuff, so. Not worried about it. You guys are almost done down here, too. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Take out Nairobi. And. Relatory duties? Yes. Local manpower? Nice. 
All who enjoy the protections of our state against wage slavery must help their brethren stand against enemies of the nation both foreign and domestic. Besides, instilling val military values into their youth will encourage both fitness and unity. Australian operative captured. Very good. Uh, Dr. Phil, would you like to come to Mexico? Yep. Yeah, I guess not. I guess we gotta kill these guys off too, which is fine. Well, uh, whatever. Probably lost a lot of guys, but I'm not really worried about it. Yeah. Persia and Afghanistan. Oh boy. What happened over here? No, I destroyed. Nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, we're looking pretty good. Portugal's back, of course, but whatever. Uh, Nairobi should be falling eventually. Help them out right here. Don't worry about that tile. I guess we could have cut them off, but it doesn't matter. I'd love to force the attack, but let's see. Attack river crossing. I don't think we're really attacking over river. Cedar Chile, Ford attacks. There we go. They're done. At least they should be. Is Mombasa really the state we need? That's a bit ridiculous, I'd say. That's a bit extreme. But hey, if we can get in there fast enough, that'd be good. But, hmm. Yeah, we need just slightly more command power for that. Go in there too. Don't don't let don't let them stop. If we can win here, and they have one tile left, that's fine with us. Grind them out. There you go. How are we doing down here? Mexico. Come on, come on. Keep going, keep going. Hey, there we go. Nice. If we keep attacking and they can't do anything about it, that's good. Help them out. Squeeze the bourgeoisie. Proletariat duties. Very good. Do not give them an inch. Oh, we lost a destroyer. That sucks. Ah, but they have a fleet there too, huh? Alright. Reward craft unions. anti capitalist wall protection. Sure. Little currently stands between us and the Entente if they choose to attack through, the can through Canada, which they already did. Even less stands between capitalist detractors who wish to flee into Canada and give aid to foreign enemies. We must protect our people with the anti capitalist protection wall to manage that border situation. Mm. Naval stuff? Yeah. Not sure if we really need it, really need it, but whatever. Come on. Come on. Just kill them off. I will literally delete this division just looking for the attack. Or something. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but seriously, like, if they can't move... Like in an organization, making an example, a technocrat has written a letter to the president about a group of managers in an Illinois garment factory whom they have abused their workers and embezzled funds from them. However, they have also been otherwise loyal party members. What should we deal with? Execute them? Oh boy. Resign them to the frontline shock troops? Resign them to all different factors with a warning? Nothing is their prerogative. Frontline shock troops. Seriously, they can't move and get more organization, they're dead. So, as you can see, they're losing divisions like crazy. Hey, oh, Mexico gun. Yay, bye, Mexico. It's really they didn't join the Third International, but whatever. Nice. That's actually really nice. Where are you guys down here? You? Oh, they called these guys in, didn't they? We'll wait for that one. Alright, so now you guys are kind of forced to be split up. You guys go there. You guys go to this side of the coast, which I don't think Japanese will really attack us, but whatever. Come down to uh, Florida in February, which actually sounds really nice. Going to Florida in February? Hmm. And these guys should be dead. Very soon, very soon, very soon. Keep going in, don't worry about it. I don't care how many men it takes. Fan of Mexico? After a long campaign across Mexico, we finally managed to shatter the Mexican defenses. Mexico City is now in our hands. We must not decide on the future of Mexico. Nope. No freedom for them. Alright, screw this. I shouldn't even delete the divisions, but force it. Don't let them move. Seriously, don't even let them move. I... I know this is bad to do. You lose a lot of manpower. You lose a lot of strength. I just, I just can't care right now. And I'm here with my cat Binky. You okay, Bink? Binky. And see, there you go. That's not great to do, but whatever. Hey, convoy sunk. Very good. Carry naval bomber a three. Yes, please. Definitely need more factories. Um. Oh man, we. Oh wow, that's a lot of tanks we need. Um, go down to thirty for now. Artillery, gun-wise, how we doing? We got 43,000 pieces of artillery. We can lower this by like 10 or something. I do want to make some modern tanks, though. Oh, you guys need definitely more. There you go. There you go. Nice. Uh, what about you? Way more of this. It's fine. 
Oh, look at that rubber. Save us on a little bit of rubber. That's fine. Oh, it goes canyon too. As it should be gone. Actually, we're pretty close to taking them out. Nice. Um, I actually might not send you guys here. I might actually send you guys to Navely Invade, which is probably a really bad idea, but whatever. Alexandria? Adana. That might actually be a really good place to get. We'll see. We will see. Cool. Help him out. Oh, and we get this too. That's fine. Boom. Bing bong. Bing bong. Boom. We're probably... For preparations, war propaganda, stuff like that. Proletary duties, very nice. Anti capitalist wall protection, protection wall. And armed Canadian resistance, well, if you're about that, please go ahead. I mean, we can't do that, obviously, but power projection sounds really nice. Norman Thomas criticizes militarism. Norman Thomas has given a speech denouncing the CSA's more militaristic policies, especially its increased conscription and propaganda under the president. He warned if supporters of liberty were not vigilant, the new state could become nearly as amoral as imperial powers. Gadfly. Our military is behind on means of striking at the enemy via modern means. We should remind the bourgeoisie that the arm of the proletariat stretched far with an investment in research for aerial warfare. Yep. And the Irish are killing each other. What else is new? What else is new? Um, that's, Damascus is literally the only place. Well, that's fine. Whatever. Here you go. Come to Florida. Have a good time. Uh, for the rest of you guys, though, if you'd like to train for now, that's fine. And we'll take out Central America, too. We will. Also, oh, because Mexico is dead. Ah, War Plan Green, I guess. Mexican stand up, they're dead, so. Uh, th this has been coming for a long time. The Mexican state must fall, and its workers granted the same freedom we have achieved for ourselves. Though Mexico has achieved more progress than most nations in the past decades, it's clear to us now that they need our assistance in keeping some of the promises the revolutionaries made. Mexico City. Here we come. Which we are technically killed, but whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. Yeah, keep keep repairing everything that we need. Hey, Jerusalem, we love Jerusalem. Central America, you're next. 125 is just so extreme, man. Um, are we actually up there ready to go at all? Yeah, we pretty much are. They don't attack us, do they? No, we attack them. That'll be fine. Uh, make sure that the army that we're using here. Actually, we can do this first. Do more naval bombers because we can. Fighters, get some more fighters here. Um, I love Cass. Oh, look at that. Oh, boy. One more destroyer sunk. I love carriers. Anti capitalist protection wall. And war plan green. Which is awesome to get through. Demand New England. New England's place under the Canadian boot is an intolerable state of affairs, but they are obviously opposed to returning it. Drumming up support within New England, ramping up diplomatic pressure, and showing our strength will force them to stand down, hopefully. And now we're going to do a world revolution. They may have prevailed in the Civil War, but that is only the beginning. Or we may have. There are many among us ooh, who demand we spread the revolution abroad, first across the Western Hemisphere, and then the world. This will take a great effort on our part, and on the part of our people. But if we fail to act now, it is possible that imperialist and capitalist regimes will extinguish the fires of the revolution in Europe and elsewhere. We cannot allow this to happen. And then we'll go back to our other focuses that we can do as well, so. We're good. Grab this too. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ah, uh, very good. Oh, look at that, yes. Sink and blow up all enemies. Ah, Syrian ships. Oh, Dr. Phil, no! No! Anti-capitalist protection wall. Our fortresses and St. Clair both symbolize, or symbolize, yeah, our newfound strength and will Keep the Imperialists from marching straight through the industrial haven of our social state. Not one step back. Very good. Ah, nine more destroyers and a lot of convoys. Very good. Carriers are getting just attacked, 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 which makes sense. I mean, we're using these guys a whole bunch. Your skull of a seven. Nice. Oh, we have to deal with all these guys, too. Where is that? Can you actually invade successfully? Hopefully. Get this done as fast as possible. Then we have to deal with the Turks. We're going to need more armies here, actually. My bad. Um, you're in Florida for a reason. Head on over here. Benjamin Katine. Let's go, boys. Let's see what we can do. Probably can't do very much, but we'll see. I think I made these guys 40 combat with, maybe? Maybe not. No, they're still only 20. Oh, that's really bad. They're still 20 combat with? Jesus. What have I been doing? Ma'an. Yeah, 
Yeah, we still might be able to land. That'd be good. Come on, Benjamin, let's go. Hopefully they don't get sunk. What do they do? That's my fault. Whatever. These guys aren't super strong, but there's a lot of land. Oh, look at that. Nice. Are you 40 combo width? You guys are 20s? Yeah, they are. Our motorized are 40 combo width, which is very nice. Anything with it? Don't really care about. Cool. Alva Bessie, doing a pretty good job, I'd say. Pretty darn good job so far. Hail will fall. Raj Authority will fall. Very nice. The Entente's all the way down there, which is fine. Don't really deal with them yet. Just once we get... Well, I guess technically we already had the border with these guys. Yeah, once we get that, that's not going to be very good for us. But I want to kill the Cairo Pact. Just kill them all off, please. Since you're here anyways, we're going to take you guys here as well. There you go. Benjamin is almost there in Northern Africa, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Yeah. Lee Mildred. Julius Rosenberg. Is he a real guy? I think I, I saw a post on Reddit. Like, he was actually one of the spies that gave American nuclear research to the Russians in our timeline, I think, the Soviets. I think that's who he was. I could be wrong, but that's actually really, kind of cool. Oh, since we're here. Send you guys to Iraq. And send you to Ankara. Please don't lose. You liberator guys, please, come on. Aleppo, what is Aleppo? We got him. Oh crap, that's not good. Um, Benjamin, hurry. You guys are doing okay. You guys are doing okay down here too. Um, That's not good. Good luck. <laughs> Seriously, good luck. I'm going to send you guys, uh, send you guys, keep you guys there. You guys are going anyways. You guys are going, you guys hanging out. It's fine, it's fine. Just kind of spread out for now, I guess. Improved that charge mortars. Nice. Capital gunnery we could do. Oh, let's grab some of that first. Just going to retreat for now. Because I do not want to get encircled. These guys will do fine, probably. There you go, yeah. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Benjamin, let's go. Get everyone down here first. You know what? Screw it. Just get over here. Race, race, race. Like a horse. Race horse. The World Revolution. On the beaches. Our enemies must fear American soldiers landing on the shores. And to that end, we must work to ensure that they have the skill and power to take advantage of our longer reach. Our Marines will be some of the best in the world. Cool. We're not really using Marines right now, but that's okay. Afghanistan is gone. Goodbye, Afghanistani. Fate of Levant. We've conquered the wealthy lands of Levant, including the grand ancient city of Damascus. What do we do with these old Ottoman provinces? Military occupation. The Fate of Hejaz. The Hejaz region, birthplace of Islam, is now fully under our control. What should we do with these lands? Military occupation, of course. Actually, since we're here, we start making some of this stuff. Do that. We need more chromium, too. Anything here? Anything here? Nope. Cool. And... Fate of Kurdistan. Our armies are taking control of the northern part of Levant, and the local Kurdish population is clamoring for self-government. We should decide what's to be done. We're going to eat them up. <clears throat> oh, yeah, they're really attacking now. Russian operative capture, that's fine. Where are you guys at? Oh, you're, you are racing, which is nice. Hail, um, if we can get, take these guys out, that'd actually be really, really helpful. You might actually be able to capitulate them if you take Hail. Or Hail? I, I, I don't really know how to pronounce it. My bad. Oh, that's good. That's not very good. Okay, so we got to get out of here then. Come back down to Beirut. Um, you guys. Shore up our defenses a little, little bit more, maybe. Like, over here to there. Unless we get Katina really fast. Go and leave, that's fine. Go and leave, go and leave, go and leave, 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 leave. leave. I don't want to get any encirclements here. Get out, get out, get out. They're racing through here, which is not good. Keep going, keep going. Benjamin, where are you? Um, if that's the case, I'm going to have you guys do both of this. I'm going to put you guys over here. Take you. No, take you. Go over here. Both of you guys do this. Excuse me, game. Can I not do that? Thank you. Um, realistically, they're sort of already over here. So we can probably do that, actually. Go ahead and leave. They're going to get encircled, so. Oh, 
Alright, let's see what happens. My apologies, my cat wanted to leave the room, so... Oh boy, we lost combo, that's not good. Ah, uh, that sucks. It's fine, whatever. Please leave. Don't worry about moving in there. Don't worry about attacking right now. The Russians will get their due. And since we're here, we've got to build this area anyways. There you go. There you go. There you go. Don't worry about attacking. Seriously, do not attack right now. It's fine. It's fine, fine, fine. Just going to leave anyways. Do not get encircled. Don't worry about attacking. Hold the line. As we're getting guys over here, I might have lost a few guys as well, but whatever. Ulster is gone. Goodbye, Ulster. Well, with some one other guy over here. Now the Russians is going to be attacking quite a bit. Who is not defending here? Board combo with motorized. Looking pretty good. Let's get some more radar if we can, potentially. Get another bigger air base. Very nice. Banshees are nice. Grab some of that as well. I don't know why, but I just became very hungry. But oh well. That stuff is fine on the beaches. I'm going to go back over here next. And then we'll do uh, power projection, probably. Yeah. That'd be good. It's only 20 day focus, which is really nice. And they're going to be attacking us like crazy. Which is fine with me, actually. Uh, we actually should... Yeah, you might be able to do this, actually. Let's see. 2v2, can you actually win? Well, but 3v2. Yeah, don't worry about attacking, guys. Don't, seriously, don't worry about it. Yemen is gone. All right. Which is fine with us. Oh boy. Oh boy. 18 convoys, not bad. Five more convoys, not bad. A lot of convoys around here. Seven, ten, five, two. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Disperse industry, very good. And destroy ten more. Ten more, okay. Keep building things up. More convoys go bye bye. Because we will do the general attack eventually. I mean, I know, oh, we all know the Russians have a ton of manpower right now. They have just a ton. Oh, maybe not. Then again, they're only on limited conscription, so. And they'll be attacking us like crazy. So, what do you expect? I'm expecting your guys to hold the line. That's what I expect. Alright, not bad. Okay, then. I mean, I'm not opposed to that. Cool. A lot of these guys are, are need repairs, which makes sense, but whatever. Uh, Cuba. Thank you. Let him attack. Let him attack. We'll be fine. Mad dog. Let's get down there. Let's get over here. On the beach. Nice. You have a power projection. So are you guys over here yet? Yes, you are. That's good. You just slow your, your way into here. Uh, oops, my bad. There you go. Spread out if you can. Supply is going to be probably pretty darn bad. Happy 45, everyone. Just realized it's 1945. Um, we're going to need more planes, but getting radar would definitely help us out. All right, more planes, more planes. Way too many planes here. Fighter production. 40 is not enough. Light tanks are not good enough yet. Ooh, oh, they are really attacking. But how many men have we lost? 200,000? About that. That's not too bad. Russia. Um, they've lost about 670,000 to us so far. Not bad. We will do a general attack, especially since we can attack down here eventually. Let's get a few better roads first, though. Like, <laughs> roads are super important for all this stuff. Oh, another division. Very good, very good. Send them over there when you can. For now, we're just going to do bing to bong. To one, two, three. Anti air upgrades. Good. Keep making some of that stuff. That's good. Oh, so, oh yes, please. Can you guys not win down here immediately? Oh, let's see. Can you guys actually win? Yeah, it says you guys can actually win. That's good. Alright, up next after them will be whom? Ethiopia? Anyone here in the Middle East that we aren't at war with yet? Persia? Presidential election of 45. The presidential election of 45 is here with much fanfare. It's expected James Burnham is in the lead, but as the government has promised a fair and open election, it's anyone's guess who will win after the debates and all the campaigning is done. Who will merge victorious in 45? Oh, look, it's still James Burnham. Yeah, with nuclear bombs. Nice. There you go. Um, we need to just find somebody else next. 
Uh, Africa. There's too many African nations. Oh, who you? Oh, you guys all. Well, that's fine. Uh, this will open up a can of worms to take out those other guys. Fire projection. It's fine. Guess by promoted. Don't really care. And military industrial state. A long last majority of our resources is geared towards military conquest so that we may have a last opportunity to spread true socialism. That's nice. Alright, so Rose should be looking a little bit better here. Get some modern carrier hulls. We could probably make some better destroyers, which will require chromium, which sucks, but whatever. It's fine. Level 4 is very good. I hate fighting enemy subs. That's why I max these things out. And tier is looking slightly better, but we have no naval speak out. Dang it. Oh, right there. Let's do that one. So be it. So be it. It's fine. Do we have... Oh, we do have supply issues here. What is a bottleneck? Um, previous one... Previous infrastructure. Just improving infrastructure will be extraordinarily helpful. Can we actually push out? Probably not. I guess these guys, yes, up here, probably no. I'm going to try. I, I definitely want to finish this part of the Middle East first. Once we get through this part, the northern parts will be... Actually, a little bit easier to take out, huh? Okay. Why not? They only have 208 divisions. That's not bad. Only 208. Not bad. And just from military state. And then roar the craft unions. The craft unions provide much of the support for our victory. However, many are still on the fence between continuing to support us or one of the Vanguard's leaders. Perhaps handing out some military contracts to our supporters will remind them who else, whose side they're on and what comes to those who stand with the state. I might have already read that one. My bad. But whatever. Yeah, we can move faster here. That'd be awesome. Oh, more military factories? Not bad. Ice Pilot Promoter is very nice. Get some more of that. That's fine. It's only required steel. we got plenty of steel right now. Oh, that's not good. Give me a massive navy. Oh, we have a Dreadnought. Look at that. Nice. Okay, that's actually going to slow down our guys. Uh, if you guys come over here instead, because they're already going to get slow because of those ships. I don't want to slow down our task forces, which is one thing I don't think anyone ever really talks about too much, is like the speed of your ships. So, yeah. Like... I want them to be able to reinforce fast, or get to where they need to go really fast, so. Dreadnoughts are great, but sometimes they're just really, really, really slow. Where's the capital? Is it down here? Abu Dhabi? Oh, Riyadh, yeah. Baghdad's almost gone, which would be great to take if we could, but we just aren't strong enough right now. Give it some time. We're not winning up here, which is fine. I, I understand. But, uh, we'll get there. It's a lot of Russians. Take out Baghdad first. We might be able to capitulate them. Good. Take Riyadh. How do you pronounce that? Baghdad's gone. Hey, we got these guys. Yes. So, Subhani Africa. Arabia. Not Africa. Arabia. Uh, that's really much better. That's so much better. I'm going to keep you guys down here, maybe. You stay right here for now. Um, it's looking so bad. The Raja 32. Oh, you guys, guys, guys over there too. All right then. Um, you guys just hold then. Everyone else hold. Get to where you have to go. Defend. You know, make sure you we're doing okay. Oh, Central America's gone. I forgot about them too. Thank you. Nice. Just make sure you don't get overran, because I need to send you guys down south. Do right there. And Muscat. And Muscat. Well, I guess really go over there too. You know where to go. Tanks are looking really bad, but whatever. Going in, going in. You guys did a great, tremendous job. Colombia. Oh, Costa Rica next. Eventually. Any other ships here? Yes. Thumbs up from us. Any there? Nope. This is all one gigantic disorganized mess right now. We've lost how many? We had Arabia. We lost a lot of guys, but you know what? Whatever. That was worth it for Arabia. Keep going, keep going. Radar is still very good. And air bases, well, we could use some better ones. There we go. You guys are racing down there. Oh, you guys are technically already there. Nice. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, crap. Now to fight Italy. Come on, man. That's really going to suck. Our Navy's pretty good. They're going to get really blown up, though. Oh, boy. Well, at least it's looking okay for us for now. 
Lado disappears, Lado disappears, Central America. We must decide what to do with the people of Central America. Military occupation, Arabia. After a long fight with the Arabs, we've launched a full offensive and forced the Arabian army to surrender. The fate of the Arabs in the sign is now in our hands. Cool, thank you. We could probably use more stability, honestly. Oh crap, Afghanistan too. That sucks. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yes, need some shippies. Yeah, it's looking not too bad. We might lose some destroyers though, but hey, not too bad over here. So basically we're fighting all of Europe now. Come on, Third International, you can't do anything else? No, because the Commune of France lost, that's why. Oh boy, that's really not good. They're throwing more guys in there, dreadnoughts. Keep blowing them up. Don't lose too much. Emergency powers. With their population fearful of Canadian and British uh, influence and gaining enough political support among the le Union leadership, President Burnham can declare martial law and thus take needed measures to counteract reactionaries. We just don't want to lose too much here. Really don't want to lose too much. Hey, not too bad though. That was actually a pretty successful battle, I'd say. Just in case, all you guys. Go home and repair. He's not an iron size protector yet. Not yet. He's working on it, though. 86%. Not great, but we're working on it. It's fine. Keep seeing the convoys. Yeah, let him attack us up there. I don't really care. Down there, one division is good enough for now. Can you guys actually win down here? It looks like a, yeah, you can. Go to Muscat. We'll go around the Arabs this way. Hopefully they don't alien invade us. Ooh, that would be so bad. And fate of Iraq. We've conquered the fertile lands of Iraq, including the grand and ancient city of Baghdad. What are we going to do with these? Military occupation? Not bad. Ooh. Oh, so many ships. You, come on, carriers. Sink them, sink them, sink them, sink them. Now that's nice. The Italian Navy's got to die, man. It's just got to die. Good stuff. Nice. Uh, I can lower that by one, that's fine now. Good, 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 good. Nice. Fighters, we it says it says we got a lot of fighters. Ciphers, nice. Keep seeing their test. How, how big is the Italian Navy, actually? Good question to ask. Oh, Muscat's gun, good. Keep seeing them convoys. It has got a lot of guys, which makes sense. Not bad. 100,000 manpower. 223 ships. That's a lot of ships. Holy crap. Um, VP. There we go. This guy's too. Oh, did we lose something? A plane is fine. It's only a plane. All right, so Muscat's looking pretty good. Our tanks are not looking very good, though, which sucks, but whatever. Are they actually still beating us up somehow? Guys, come on. Just go in. Hey, not bad. Might need to raise a conscription level again, but that's fine, whatever. Nice. Oh boy, look at that. That's really not good then. Keep sinking everything they got. Come on, planes. Go, 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 go. Stop losing ships. Let's build some radar over here. Even better radar. Flooding at San Salvador. We're going to build that. Please go ahead. Oh boy. That is not ideal. Holy crap. Come on, sink their ships. Come on, just sink them. Blow them up. You got plenty of planes there. Plenty of planes. Plenty, 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 plenty of planes. Oh, crap. We're getting invaded. Are we? Or... Hey, we actually did sink the, some of the capital ships, which is very good. Yes. 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 These cruisers don't matter. These destroyers don't really matter either. Yes. Yes. Good. Finally, something good out of this. Keep sinking everything they got. The British aren't completely out of the, the uh, war either, so. It's good. Nice. Keep seeing everything they got. That's nice. They don't keep attacking us. Seriously. Lost almost 400,000. The Russians have lost 1.39. Not enough yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. Alright, so what are, what is the plane situation like? Why is it so bad right now? Fighters. They say we have 5,200. Get rid of all these fighters. I, I mean, we can it just takes too long to convert these things. And I, I don't prioritize it anyways, but I don't want to see all this stuff. Uh, I'll get rid of that one too. There we go. Carrier fighters. Get rid of that. It's fine. Plus, air support's fine. Carrier cats. We're not using that stuff. Naval bombers. Get rid of that stuff. We'll save the other stuff for now. Anything less than 100, get rid of. 
Tactical bombers don't even use them. Not really, no. Alright, so come over here. You guys, fighter group. Oh, do that too. Naval bombers. It's fine. Oh. Uh, what are you guys doing? You're just sitting there. Boys, get in. Alright. Naval bombers. Good. And you guys up here. So you should flying fortresses would not be bad. There we go. That's a lot of planes that we like to see. We go. Do it again. But these four extra 400 will come right there. I go over here. Go over here. That's fine. Make sure we got more than enough. Nice. That should definitely help us out. A few extra naval bombers. A few extra planes. That's all stuff is done. That's nice. Some of that too. There you go. That is going to help out hopefully quite a bit. Very good. Sink everything they got. Everything they've got. I put a lot of mines down, but whatever. Find the fleets. Sink all of them. We want more than just convoys. Yes. Destroyers are good. Sink, 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 sink. Nice. Good. Planes are replaceable. We got a big old navy right there too, huh? Alright, well, whatever. Anything else? Oh, yes. That's oh, only a convoy, huh? Two more convoys too? That's fine with us. Thank you. Wow, we need way more of this stuff. 43. Jesus Christ. Um, anywhere that there's a naval base, just make sure it's maxed out so we can repair as fast as possible. We're still getting attacked somewhat, somewhat, slightly, 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 which is... Oh, shnikey, that's not good. Uh, let's get moving. You guys, I don't want to abandon this area, but we kind of have to, sort of, ish. Um, really come over here. They say we can do a general attack. I kind of don't believe them. Yeah, I kind of don't believe you. Well, they're kind of not doing great over here or here. Other places, or over there, it's not very good either. Hmm. All right, so when you're done, just stop attacking. Over here is fine. Over here is not so fine. Oh, wait. Partially air superiority as well. Anyway, let's go to group. Nice. Pretty good. Modern cures will be great. And we could get subs. Let's do some more damage. Cool. Alright. We do have enough for this. Advance. No, you're done. Now we can do this stuff. Go four. Go four. Go. So is it three yet? Yes. That's awesome. You go four as well. Great. Go. Actually, get. Four will be good enough for anti sub stuff. Get his. Get these guys. And level three at least. It's great. And then go one, two, three. Bing, bong, boom. One, two, three, four. Five, four, three, four. Whatever it is, whatever, whatever. Um, modern carriers. We have more than enough naval XP for this stuff. Get even better radar. Get even better anti air. Get even better uh, that. Fine. No deck armor too? What? Alright, that's good. That's a pretty good one. Get rid of that. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Um Dreadnoughts are fine. One, two, three, four, five. I did one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Pretty good. Hey, it's a part of the fleet. That's pretty nice, actually. Hang out, hold, try to do your best job you possibly can. Maybe you should do force defense here. Probably not ideal, but whatever. Oh, it's looking so bad down here. It's looking so ungodly bad. You guys force the attack. I don't care about how badly you guys are hurt. You gotta win, though. Good. Go around Yemen and you can capitulate them all. Industrial Army. All able-bodied citizens are to contribute to the nation. Workers are to be categorized into seven classes that will decide their work schedules and obliges them to work upon finishing their education as organized by the managers. Very good. Wow, that's a that's a lot of stuff that happened there. Um, actually, is there anything but that? Yeah, no. no that's fine. Um, ooh, well, some planes. Fine, whatever. I wish the Japanese would attack the Russians, but I guess not. More destroyers, more destroyers, subs, subs. Oh, would well, you look at that battle? Not bad. Entire task force destroyed. Very good. Alright, so where are you at? 
You're still moving across America. God dang it, that sucks. Uh, come on, tanks. You gotta go. Go, 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 go. Since we have an airplane base here, fighters close air support is great. Do we not have any more? You know what's good? We'll use even carry naval bombers if we have to. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks really badly, actually. Well, we're gonna lose it anyways. Can you put a port here since we have it? Well, we're probably not gonna be able to hold out for very long. Anything else? Naval stuff? Oh, another task force gone. Great. Good. Good. Yes. We could actually shorten the line down. Maybe a little bit. That actually might be um, in our best interests. Uh, take you out. You come down here. Help out down here. The rest of you guys, just do the best you possibly can. Huh. Good luck. Good luck holding. You're gonna need it. Whoa! Not bad. Not great. We lost a destroyer, which sucks, but whatever. Alright, alright. Light your pole sunk. Oh man, they're really sinking us right now. We need more fighters here, then. Um, where are you guys? We have plenty, 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 plenty of fighters. Gabez, what are you guys doing? Oh, oh, do we lose a carrier? Oh crap, that's not good. Um, Tyrion C. To get you guys quite a few times. One, two, go right there. Central Med, Central Med. Nice. We can decide so this way they'll have to attack us. And then you guys can just concentrate you guys on doing whatever we need down here, so. Just go in if you can. The tanks are doing as best as they possibly can right now, but they're not looking very good. So you guys stop attacking. Just hold. Literally just hold for now. There you go, and that's what we want to see. We want to weaken them like that. It's fine. We're gonna lose a lot of ships, but that's why we made them. I'm making even more. Good. Ooh, we lost a destroyer. That sucks. Keep picking up god dang destroyers. Ah. Even more here. Tons. They should not be able to do any of this stuff. They really shouldn't be able to. But they are, somehow. Good. Oh crap, they naval invaded us? Are you kidding me? How are we supposed to contest with that? A continental constability. The Technocratic Committee would like to make a fine, a long-held dream a reality by creating an internal police force called the Continental Const Constabulary that will absorb and replace existing local police forces. This national police force can be moved around at will by the committee, allowing manpower to be used more effectively and with the impartial oversight of the committee to make sure they represent our values. Party activists would like to make, make it clear that the Continental Social Society ranks higher than the constables, however. Um, sure, that looks uh, pretty good. Um, power, command power increase. You get more political power that way. You don't really need more political power. Stability? No, keep regional police force. I like that one, but I want more reinforce rate. That's fine. Uh, where are you at? Are you, are you, oh my god, you guys take so long. We literally can't have you over here anymore. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Or you guys can just hurry up yourselves. Seriously, just keep moving. Come on. Keep moving. Because that's really not good for us. Over here, we'll be okay. They're just putting so many guys into there. Holy crap. Guys, get out. You have no... Where are the capital ships? What are you guys doing? Leave for now. Repair if you need to. Oh, more divisions are nice, though. That'd be good. Uh, good luck. I'm going to war with those guys. Oh, you guys are already down here? Oh, since we're down here anyways, just do this. Get rid of them. Going to probably need to raise the conscription level. Unless we're still mobilizing. No, we're not. That sucks. Oh, well. Oh man, they're just amassing so many soldiers around the border. And once this is done, we'll come up here. I'm not really too worried about it, so. A lot of planes sunk. That's good. Nice. We lost how many? Half a million? The Russians have not lost enough. Italy. Italy's gonna lose so many guys. I swear to God, man. Italy is gonna lose. Not enough. Just just not enough. Just straight up not enough. We'll be fine here, too. Ace Black Promoter is nice. And Triple Titan is in her hands. Why is this happening again? The, honestly, if we do this once, we shouldn't have to be penalized again by doing that. That literally makes no sense. Okay, 
Come on, would you hurry up and repair faster? Seriously, force the attack. Oh, we, we can't wait. So, Neo-Socialist Values. History is, as we know, simply a story of... Of, uh... Oh, my bad. Yeah, that's good. History, uh, a simple story of elites taking power and circulating myths among both themselves and the people. Our elites should be ju justify themselves by being committed to standing against capitalist exploitation, directing themselves towards productive tasks, meritocracy, and respecting the rights of our loyal citizens. Likewise, the public will be educated in the value of social nationalism. Uh, but I think for now, I think we'll just go ahead and read a couple more focuses, and then we'll probably call it a campaign. Political rehabilitation? This looks pretty good, actually. It is high time to recover the damages done by the enemies of the state, including the prominent faux socialists, who are acting as useful idiots for imperialism. The newly commissioned Gamma class will carry out more undesirable... Uh, man manual labor until found to be politically re rehabilitated by their overseers. The production gained from this cheap labor should be able to finish off our depression and ultimatum to vanguardists. The vanguardist leaders hold many reasonable vo viewpoints on issues of organizing the state, but have still failed to fully embrace man managerialism. They must stop causing a party divide when the future is obvious and will be, put com will be committing themselves fully to our new social society, putting aside pipe dreams of a Marxist utopia free of nationalism in a time where we must resist foreign influence. And oath of loyalty. With the economy managed by loyalist technocrats and the political system dominated by Burnham and his vanguard, we can require all members of the government to swear allegiance to the party, absorbing existing socialist party in the AWP, while ceasing to pay dues to those listed as reactionaries. Those who don't would merely reveal themselves to be traitors and depose counter-revolutionaries. We've finally amassed enough power to strike at those who have made it quite clear that they will never accept the leadership style of President Burnham. While we should not outright try the chairman's most popular socialist critics, a swift political vacation would be helpful, but if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we move down a little further in the campaign, and hopefully we'll be invading Italy or Greece and finishing off Turkey. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!